Coca has five major search functions, list, chart, collocates, compare, and quick. We'll start with list. List is the most basic function and it allows you to put in a word or a phrase and then see the wider context around that word or phrase. Let's start with an example. We'll type in the word run into the search field and look for matching strings. Type in run, click find matching strings, and we'll see that run occurs in the corpus 131,714 times. If we click on the word run, we can see the wider context. It always takes COCA a minute to process any request. So here we have the wider context of run, and we can see authentic examples of run in use in the corpus. Let's go back to our search and try to refine it a little bit. Let's say we want to look at run only as it occurs as a verb. To do that, we type in the word run as we have, add a dot, and then select our POS tag or our part of speech. So we can select, for example, noun, and it will come up like this. So here we have run dot square bracket, the tag for noun square bracket, and then we search. Now we see we only have 33,796 hits or occurrences of run that is tagged as a noun. If we look at run as a verb, we can change our tag by deleting it and selecting verb. And now we do our search and we see that we have 97,770. So there's more instances of run as a verb than as a noun. Another thing that's interesting is in list is that we can search for phrases. So for example, if I want to search for um, go for a run, I'll get rid of my POS tags because I'm looking at a phrase now, not a word, and I click find matching strings, we see that go for a run happens 57 times. Hmm. Then if I want to click on the context, I can see how the phrase go for a run is used. So here we have something like, I'd go for a run around the block. Do you know the best time of the day to go for a run? I was hoping to go for a run. He figured he'd go for a run after breakfast. So it sounds like go for a run is used when someone is talking about exercising or going outside and running. We can compare this with a different phrase like take a run. So take a run occurs 53 times, so a little bit less than go for a run in this corpus. And we can look at take a run. I would take a run before allowing myself to shower. He will take a run at you. We're in a position to take a run at him. So this seems to be used in a little bit different context than go for a run. This is something we'll come back and explore more with quick lines in a minute. The last thing I want to talk about with list is that you can look for um, variable slots in a phrase as well. So for example, if I use the phrase go for a, then I can put in a asterisk or a wild card, which allows for it to be a variable slot and find matching strings. I can see what types of words fill that variable slot. So here we can see go for a walk is the most frequent, go for a ride, go for a drive, go for a swim, go for a run. So that earlier example of go for a run is frequent, but it's not the most frequent. So here we can see how the phrase go for a, and then a variable slot, how that's used or what types of words fill that variable slot. Okay, this is it for list. I think we'll move on to the next one after that.